I remember being very sick after drinking that. I doubt you'll be hearing from Southern Comfort apologists because I doubt there are any. Can't believe you guys wasted time on this. <laughs> Hope it was the end of the day. If nothing else, this sets the bar on what to avoid. This is the worst. Reminds me of many horrid hangovers. This is considered high class trash in the US. I used to like this when I was a kid. Now I can't even think about it without feeling ill. Southern Comfort is garbage, to say the least. It is really horrible stuff. I drink this a few times in my youth, and I get a gag reflex, even thinking about it. I've had cough syrup that tastes better than that atrocious abomination in a bottle. Just the other day, a friend of mine was trying to remember some horrible alcoholic beverage that she got sick on in college. And then I saw your video, and she confirmed it. It was Southern Comfort. Jesus, Southern Comfort. Why does everybody hate you? Let's talk about it. Kick the intro. <laughs> intro. Welcome back into Brian's Badass Reviews, everybody. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. Got new videos coming out pretty much every week. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like what's going on in these videos. So what you're looking at here, ladies and gentlemen, is a bottle of Southern Comfort. And there's a ton of mixed feelings about Southern Comfort on the old interwebs there. Maybe not even a ton of mixed. There's a lot of people that absolutely hate it. And so you guys are thinking, geez, Brian, you just did a whiskey review on a bunch of badass bourbons. What in Sam Hades name are you doing reviewing Southern Comfort? Well, I guess I just like to ruffle some feathers sometimes. What is it about Southern Comfort that people tend to really hate, especially if you're a whiskey purist? What I want to do is I want to get into the history of Southern Comfort just a little bit, and then I want to get into my history with Southern Comfort, and then tell you some do's and don'ts, some pros and cons. I don't know. Let's see where this takes us. Let me have a little sip here first. Mm. It's been around since the late 1800s, 1874 to be exact. It was started by a bartender named Martin Wilkes Heron, and he was the son of a boat builder. Uh, started out in New Orleans, and basically what he did is he took a pretty good quality bourbon back in the day and he would mix it with a bunch of different spices. He'd mix it with vanilla, some lemon, uh, cloves, and some cinnamon. And he put on the label, two per customer. A gentleman wouldn't ask for more. Some of the labels would actually say, not genuine, but mine. And the actual original name of Southern Comfort was Cuffs and Buttons. 1874, it stood the test of time. It's been around for a long time. Now it has kind of went through some turbulent times. Started off there, it was later uh, purchased by the Brown Company and is currently owned by the Sazerac Company. And it started off with that whiskey base. And that is one of the things that people have that misconception with Southern Comfort. Uh, they think it's a whiskey. And I'll be honest with you, when I was younger and I was drinking this stuff, I would have argued that it's a whiskey but it is not a whiskey. It did start off with that whiskey base back in the early days and then later as it was kind of going through not so hot spike in numbers, they actually changed it to more of a, a clear spirit base, like a vodka base. And then when the Sazerac company bought it back out, they went back to that whiskey base. So from about 2017 forward, it, they kind of brought it back around to have that whiskey base. Now, as far as my history goes with it, my first drink of choice, my first kind of cocktail was Captain Morgan. I think a lot of the college kids, especially in the Wisconsin area where I grew up, if you weren't drinking the delicious plethora of beers that are available in the state of Wisconsin, uh, you were probably getting all lit up on Captain Morgan. And as a young man, that was my drink of choice too. Until my good buddy, Jason Galley, or maybe it was my good buddy, Mark McCracken. I'm not too sure, but they started drinking the Southern Comfort thing. And then we all kind of ditched that Captain Morgan. We all started drinking the Southern Comfort. And like I said, for a long time, I would have argued that I was drinking a whiskey. I always mixed it with Coke, never drank it straight up, right? Now, I'm gonna be honest with you here. I still keep it amongst different bottles in my uh, liquor cupboard up there. If you guys saw my last video, I did a review on four great bourbons. My boy's growing up, my boy's growing up. Stepping into a different world, trying to get get into some of these maybe higher quality whiskeys and out of these liqueur cocktail kind of mixy drinks. So why do people hate Southern Comfort? Number one, I'm gonna be honest with you. When I crack this bottle open and I get the nostrils in it, whew, holy hell cap, 
It's got a weird scent to it. I mean, it's obviously a very sweet liqueur. Some people would describe it as gummy bears. Just a very sugary, sweet scent. I would describe it almost medicinal, like a cough syrup, maybe like a NyQuil. And so right away, on the nose, this is not gonna be appealing. You're not gonna get that barrel note that you're gonna get out of a good whiskey. You know, you might get some of that molasses, some of that sh brown sugary kind of smells, but I wouldn't mistake that for a quality whiskey scent that you're getting out of it. They got a whole bunch of stuff that's kind of mixed up in here. Different fruit citruses, and, and I don't even know if it's synthetic or not. If you're at the bar and you wanna be a real asshole, what you're gonna do is you're gonna buy your friends a round of shots, straight up shots of Southern Comfort and you're gonna watch them drink them and then you're gonna laugh and laugh and laugh because by itself, I'll be honest with you, I think this stuff is horrible. I wouldn't wish this upon my worst enemy. Okay, maybe that's going a little bit far. So there's your don't. Don't drink it straight up. It's not meant to be drank straight up. This is meant to be combined with some sort of a sugary cola. I like to drink mine with Pepsi or Coke. The wifey, she likes to drink it with Dr. Pepper. And when you mix those, when you add the sweetness that's already there with the sugariness, sugar, sugariness, sugariness of a Coke or a soda, that's where the deliciousness comes in, guys. So I load the glass up with ice. I do about a 20 count pour. Not a 20 count, I don't know. And then I top the rest off with a soda of your choosing. Some people do it with Sprite, some people do it with ginger ale, some people do it with a dark cola. I don't know. And I think that's where it's really meant to be enjoyed, right? This is not gonna be a sipping whiskey. Uh, you are not gonna walk into some place in Kentucky and uh, be patted on the back for bringing in a bottle of Southern Comfort. That's never gonna happen. But if you ever wanna have one of those all out, get ripped face nights, where you start off in Alaska and the next morning you wake up in the desert with your underwear around your head and your pants are missing, this is gonna be the drink for you. Mix it up with some Coke, drink a bunch of them, have the worst hangover of your life the next day. But if you can tough through that and you're looking to just get ripped because you're stressed out or you just want to party, you want to have a good time, this is it. This is it for you. They actually changed this label on the bottle. They used to have a plantation on the label. They have taken that off. Um, and it just has this kind of New Orleans Saints uh, logo at the bottom of it. I don't know if there's any correlation of the quality of the liqueur to the actual football team, the New Orleans Saints. Go Pack Go. <laughs> go Pack Go. But it says, oh look right here. It even says on the back, none genuine but mine. In 1874, M.W. Heron took harsh whiskeys of the time, so maybe not good quality bourbons as I told you in the beginning because I'm a big fat liar, and mixed them with his own blend of fruit and spices to create a whiskey that could be enjoyed comfortably. Since then, Southern Comfort has been spreading the soulful and vibrant spirit of New Orleans. If I feel like just partying, going crazy, having a ton of fun that night, don't have to drive, right? We gotta be safe and responsible. Uh, don't really care what shape I end up in the next day, I'm gonna grab myself some of this. This one here is 70 proof, so it's 35% alcohol. So I mean, this particular bottle is not even that high proof. You can, I believe, go up to 100 proof on that. I wanna say they have 80 proof on as well. So you cut that in half and you got your 40 and your 50% alcohol. You get into that 100 proof and you're gonna have a rip good time. I kinda plan on doing a bunch of whiskey reviews, like legit real whiskey reviews. Uh, I wanted to do this Southern Comfort review just because I thought it uh, ruffled some feathers. I want to know what you guys think in the comments down there. Have you guys tried this? How much do you hate it? Do you love it? Do you wish it was something that uh, you'd never tried in your life and you'll never try it again? Let me know. I'm curious to know. I do like to have a bottle of this on hand. It's just a quick, easy, fun, like party time drink for me. I know there's a lot of people out there that do not like it. For the price, I don't think it's too bad. I think it's always good to just kind of have a bottle in the back. Let me know what you guys think. I got more videos coming out, different whiskey reviews, more beer reviews, music reviews, all kinds of different stuff coming up on the channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. It'd mean a lot to me, guys. If you made it through the video this far, thanks so much for sticking around. Super interested to hear your guys' comments on this one. That's all I got for the review today, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. You know what I like to say. You gotta be kind to each other. You gotta do what makes you happy. Even if it's drinking Southern Comfort. That's it. I'm out. Peace.